My dad has always been a role model for me and a friend. We've ad adapted over the years. We were primarily a claiming outfit and we were third in the nation in wins for three consecutive years, but we were literally losing a million dollars a year. And at that point we said, we're gonna run out of money before we figure this industry out. We've got to change things. We've adopted a lot of analytics. And the term analytics has been very popular in other sports, but it hasn't really been um, adopted into the horse racing industry. And what we've tried to do over the years is not only figure out what horses end up being the best racehorses, but also what type of horse ends up being the best investment. Jaywalk is a Breeders' Cup champ. As a certified financial planner, that's what interested me the most, was figuring out how can we maximize these assets, whether it's um, shares of General Mills, a bond, or a racehorse. Down in on the turf, do you, the only thing that Len asked me was, do you think that 50 Shades of Green is just a turf horse, or is that just the way the races are coming up? We've been able to really study what, give, what type of horse gives you the best return on investment? Is it a less expensive horse that you can hopefully move up the ladder and sell for a little bit more? Or is it a really well-bred horse, for example, like a Thread of Blue, where if he does jump through all the hoops and win the top races, he could be a stallion prospect, and therefore you, know, you exponentially increase his value. He truly enjoys competing. He will look at another horse you know, eyeball to eyeball and say, I'm not gonna let you beat me today. A threat of blue is still there, and he's going to go all the way in the Saratoga Derby Invitational. That's really worth its weight in gold, and that's what a threat of blue has. I think when you have the opportunity to run in a win and you're in, um, it just gives you the golden ticket 